Hey guys, welcome to ETL QA Labs. Uh, today we will talk about uh, find command, which is very powerful command in Unix. So, like we have seen the grep command, which is uh, actually used to find the pattern inside a text file, right? So, in a similar way, we have a find command, which basically uh, can find the text inside a inside a file as well uh, but mostly it is used to find the multiple files you know uh, in the hierarchical uh, file system right so for example if uh, we need to find a file in windows right so what we do we go to we go to search and we just type in the file name and if the file is available anywhere in the in the you know entire system uh, it will display you right so similar way we can find uh, the files we can give the you know the mm, the location from where uh, you want to find and the file right so we will see it now let me go to the definition little bit right so the find command is used to find the files or directory and perform subsequent operation it it supports uh, searching by searching by name permission owner creation date you know modification date and there are some other uh, you know criteria or some other uh, uh, way of finding this file right it supports so first of all what we will do is we will go back to our terminal and we will try to see um, we'll go on back level all right so now I would like to see what is there okay so now I want to see what is the tree structure for ETL testing this particular directory right so you see that the ETL testing uh, and then it is having how many one folder FMCG other one on the similar level the IT and within IT we have uh, some text file and again one uh, directory so there are altogether three directory and seven files this is what it is showing right so let's uh, go back to detail testing folder and now what we will do is we will try to find a file alright so what we have done is we have uh, hello, okay let me alright so I would like to find a file which is named f1.txt right so how do you find we uh, we will try to see the very first option that is finding by name alright by specific name so what I will do is uh, I'll try to find by mp.txt right so I want to find but this particular file so let's say I would say find and from where I am going to start I am going to start from my current directory so where I am right now I am inside so if you see that I am inside ETL testing and all these files are you know inside the ETL testing folder right so obviously we should be able to find if we try to start from the current directory so fine and then it asks from where you want to start looking this file so I will say I am I want to start looking from start uh, from uh, the current directory all right and then name and then I will say emp dot txt see if we are able to find yeah so it is saying that it is inside it and then emp dot txt so we are able to successfully find all right and uh, then next one is what if we want to find out a file all the files which do not match this particular pattern right so let's say if I say I want to find all the files other than text file right so if I say like this so I did not get the text file here right so we have so many text file like emp1.txt emp.txt f1.txt so we did not get hidden txt also so we did not get 
the text file so it is kind of negation right so that is uh, you can use hyphen not command to find it out all right now search a file with a pattern right so if uh, yeah so we have just seen it right so if we want to find a find a file which is having certain pattern so let's say the name of the file is ending with all the files I am interested to know which are maybe you know uh, HTML uh, sorry txt right so all the txt files are displayed here in this case other files related, uh, which are having like PHP file, PHP and TXT, uh, HTML files, they are not displayed here. So it is, you know, wildcard uh, search. All right, pattern search. Third one is how do you find and delete a file with a confirmation, right? So let's say uh, I would like to find a file. Uh, let's say emp dot emp dot txt all right emp dot txt and i want to delete it so before that i would like to just see that the tree structure okay so emp dot txt is here and after deletion it should be it should not be there right so i would like to first find all right from the current directory and the name I want to give the name properly, all right. So emp dot because I don't want to accidentally delete other file. I want to give the specific name, and then I would say um, exec. This this is the you know option anyways. So we have to give it, and then I want to say rm. All right. And before that, I want the confirmation right so I would say if and I so it is asking remove regular file this or not so if I say no then it will not do anything all right so if I run this one I can still see the file you see here right now I would like to say why all right now we will see so here emp.txt file is gone right it's no more so this is how you can do but uh, in this case if we are giving the option hyphen i which means it will ask you for a permission whether it can delete or not right so this is a very safer way of doing it right now the next one search for empty file our directory right so in this case I have created one file which is empty dot uh, f dot txt so let me see whether it is capturing or not right so I'm again starting from here and I'm saying empty right all right there are two files one is the hidden file also right so hidden file is also coming here all right so these two files are the empty files if there is any directory then directory will also give you for example let's say I can say make dir empty dir something like this I am saying if I find this will also come now you see here it is listed so this command find hyphen empty will give you all the files at directory which are empty all right now search for the file with entered permission right so I think I have not taught you how to what is the permission and other things but for now you just try to understand this so let me go to IT All right, I have some files here I just would like to change the permission to 222 all right for EMP1 all right what I'm going to do is see here permission is 222 this file permission is changed now I would like to do one thing I would like to go back and I want to remove all the files I mean the file obviously in this case there is only one so the file which is 
having permission as to 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 all right let's see so it says that it is deleted right it has already deleted now if i go to it and see whether that file is there the file is no more right one second sorry hmm i'm sorry it is actually uh, going to find it only right i am not going to delete it so it it already told that it found right if you want to delete it you have to you can execute the rm or remove permission uh, remove uh, command right that will do it so here we are just searching it so that's fine we got it now find and copy right so what i would like to do is i want to find some file and then i want to copy to certain directory okay so in this case i am here let's say okay i got okay let me try no i think okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to say emp 1 dot employee dup dot txt something like that i created already so Permission denied. Okay, because I have changed the permission. You remember, ch mode. So I have to say again seven seven seven, and then emp one. Now I can do it. Now if I run, it will happen. Yes, see. Okay, so this file is there. Now I would like to find a file, and then I would like to I would like to go back. Okay, and uh, in fmcg. i want to copy i want to first find out this file so name of the file is employee 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 dup dot txt if we find this file then i would like to say copy to what i would like to copy to fmcg right so i'll just give the name as fmcg mcg all right all right i think i have to run the exec command as well so i haven't run the exec command here i think i should have Done it here. Exec. Now see. Exec command. And then cp. I think so. Okay. Let me. Why it's not happening? Let me see. Okay, so I think uh, so. Let's try to run this now. All right. So let's go to FMCG. Sorry. All right. Now should be copied. Yeah. So you see this file is copied now. Right. So if you want to copy something. then you can um, use the find command find it and then you can copy to the desired location right so here we have copied inside the fmcg folder or the directory all right now mm, let's go to the next one yeah i think we have seen it right i think uh, this command uh, finding the file name foo but without any confirmation right you can run it and uh, if you want to remove a directory so then we will see how it works right so for directory so now if i say i will go back and then say i will say tree a dot so i see there is a directory called uh, tcs all right 
I think I would like to delete the TCS now this time because I am interested to delete the directory. So if I say type D, I am right, type hyphen D, this will obviously it will give you all the no such directory, right? So it's giving error, but for now leave it. I am just going to clear it. Okay, so uh, if I would like to find directory called TCS, okay, all right. I'm sorry, I think I missed it. All right, so now we, now we got it. So now I would like to delete the TCS, right? So to delete it, I can use exec rm and uh, let's try. So it is saying that cannot remove because it is a directory. So to remove the directory, we use rm rf. I can use rf both actually. Alright, so now if I say tree, no, TCS should not be there, right? So TCS is gone because we have deleted it now. Alright, so this is how it is. Now, search text within a multiple file, right? So this is again, you know, using the grep inside. So those who who are not con not, who are not very clear about the grep, so please watch my video that I have created on grep, right? So uh, grep is basically is to find the pattern inside the text file, all right? So now what we will do is we will try to find the file for certain uh, all the files which are having certain pattern inside the file, right? So I would like to again search in all the files starting from the current location. And then I would like to, no, I don't want any other things. I would like to find all the file. Maybe I can type, sorry, F, right? That's a regular file. So inside the regular file, if I need to find exec grep inside the grep if I say I want to find something Cooper maybe I think I remember there is somewhere Cooper name I have taken all right in some of the files so that should be coming here all right let's try Okay, very good. Now we know that these all the files are having the Cooper. So can we just go and check whether that's really the case? I think I can directly say cat it emp one dot. You see here Cooper, we found it right. Similarly, if I want to find emp dope. PL in this also there is a Cooper alright which means we are able to successfully find the content so it is again showing that you know this particular pattern is there in how many files so it is very powerful command you see again using the find command and find command to find all the files which is having this pattern in any of this file right so this is you see very very powerful command right combination of grep and find all right so now we will try to find hidden files yeah so how do you find the hidden files so hidden file is what the files which are starting with so if I show you 
ls minus l a if I say right. So, this the file which I starting with dot are called the hidden files. So, here there are two hidden files. These are these are the system generated files. Yeah. So, when uh, it is it is not it is managed and created by system only we are not managing anything but let me go to empty there is a directory I have created right and no not here all right so if I say cd it we have no we don't have in it so let me go to fmcg right yes uh, yes we have right so this file if i say ls lrt we will not see this particular file because it is starting with c so i have created this file now right so what if i want to find um, what if i want to find all the hidden files inside you know starting from here so all the files and so name should be starting with what something like this isn't it one second right sorry i think confused little bit now let me try all right so now name and uh, this is starting all right so now we got it right so the file which is starting with dot and having anything else after that so for example it is starting with dot and then anything else after this right so this is the matching pattern that it found so this is how you can get the hidden files to find all txt file uh, user ubuntu all right so it's very easy isn't it i mean so I want to do one thing. Let's say I go to IT. Inside IT, I would like to find I would say EMP one, right? And then EMP dot txt. Something like that if I'm doing. Okay. Now in this case, if I if I try to find the file, let's see guys. Okay, so if I try to find the file which are having the name, which are having name like. EMP EMP dot EMP dot txt all right maybe something like this it might work so we have got all this right but I am not getting EMP dot txt this capital one this one okay why i'm not getting it because i have not used ignore case if i'm using the ignore case then i will find it out here you see got this file so this is what the use of hyphen i name okay it will ignore the name so this is what it is talking about okay it has combined the other things also with the user also you can find so user ubuntu and this so two things are combined here and the condition right okay now to find all the files which are modified 60 days back right so you can use it like uh, since i do not have any files which is modified 60 days back so that's why i cannot do it but yes i mean uh, this is the way you can find out okay hyphen m time and then you can give the 60 days okay and uh, for access the files which are accessed 60 days back you can have you can use hyphen a time similarly the files which are modified 60 days um, modified more than 60 days and less than 120 days right so 
if more I will say then plus 60 and uh, less than 110 days means minus 110 days right so this is how you can combine it okay similarly if uh, to find the files which are changed in last one hour right so hyphen C let me see if I can get it minute 60 no 10 there may be why I, it's not coming last one hour sorry it should be less than right not more than so these are the all files which which is created if I say two hours, oh, it is working, but yes, you can find it out. Okay. So to find all the files which are modified in last one hour, which is minus uh, access time minus sixty, you can do hyphen sixty, you can do to find the files which are greater than 5 MB and less than 10 MB all right so let me just find it out so this is using the size you can use the size FMCG I will go here I think I have some bigger chunk of files here yes I can just find it out so let's say if I try to use the file which is for example 11 I think this is uh, yes this is 11 uh, MB all right so if I find the size 10 GB 10 MB all right so these are the two files which are more than 10 MB if I say 12 MB nothing will be fine okay because this is just 11 MB right so if I say 11 MB we will find it so these two files are 11 MB only all right that's why we are able to find it now Mm, all right if uh, there might be certain cases when you want to find a file which is kind of more than let's say let me just try to modify this file first okay I just want to delete one file okay so I want to say try or see okay so this file is now 12 correct so what I would like to see is I want to find the file if the file size is more than 12 megabyte then I would like to uh, remove it all right see it is done that file is gone now right this particular file is gone mp2 one second guys sorry something went wrong okay one second i think i need to just check it once size is I say one. I'm getting both right. Why not with twelve? Okay. Uh, let me try with eleven. All right. So if I said eleven, both the files ideally should go. Okay. It's gone. So this is how you can uh, delete it. Okay. The files using the size so sometime it is very important when you need to archive the files or when you need to remove the files due to the size limitation you can use this find command and remove the file based on the size okay 
now uh, the last one I would like to find the files the text file right the text file which are so multiple pattern of the files okay so let's say I will just see here only one is PHP one is txt I will just try to create one also one mode also I can just say touch then I can say emp2 dot doc file all right so I have three different file now what I want to do is I want to find out all those files which are dot php and dot doc file okay so I will do like this and then since I have to, to use multiple so bracket I am using right so I have to use the backslash to ignore that a special character a special meaning of this bracket right so what I will do is name and then I will say star dot php or name again uh, star dot doc all right see guys one second second something went wrong no I think guys it's uh, all right only problem is somewhere else okay let me try this all right fine invalid expression you have used a binary operator with nothing before it nothing before it shall use okay so uh, let's try this all right so we got these two files also if we we would like to remove it then I can use exec Now, if uh, I would like to see tree just for understanding whether these files are deleted, yeah, everything is deleted now. All right, so this is the this is the very detailed uh, you know uh, description, and I have tried to cover almost all the areas, all the questions, and for related to find command. So please do utilize this and uh, see you uh, next time with the next video. Uh, guys, uh, one more thing is uh, I will just uh, try to uh, put uh, all this you know documentation in the description box so you can easily uh, you know uh, download it and use it and uh, other thing is uh, since I promised with you guys yesterday that I will come up with the video so today it's very late for me but I still thought that you know I will not break my promise so I just thought of recording this hope this is very useful for you and uh, hopefully you are learning you know the things uh, on your own pace and uh, you know uh, happy learning and uh, see you in the next video bye